Welcome to Tastings, the app that will help you execute store activations. If this is your first time logging in, sign in using the username and temporary password sent to your email. Then, change your password to one of your own choosing. You will be shown a brief app tour. Once logged in, the home screen shows your event schedule. If you do not see your scheduled tastings, make sure you have signal and pull down to refresh the list. If it still does not appear, log out of the app and log back in. Tap on the profile icon at the top right to access tutorials and account settings. Tap tutorials to access the how-to video. Tap edit profile to add a photo and change your phone number, email address, or password. Tap settings to enable text notifications. You'll be alerted when you're assigned to an event, when there are changes to an event, and when there are tasks pending to complete an activation. Tap on an event to view details, including location, start time, products to sample, materials to bring, preferred in-store location to activate, and the dress code. Enable location services for the app. Tap the check-in button when you arrive. This will log your location and time of arrival. If you have poor cell service at the store, this should not be an issue. You only need service to view your schedule and to sync your report after the activation. You will see a checklist to complete. The first task is the store survey. You will see a list that includes the product you are sampling and any competitor products, if applicable. Tap the product you are sampling. Verify the product size and price and indicate whether it's a promotional price. If so, provide the regular price as well. Then, count and log how many bottles of the product are on the shelf. Tap the camera button and allow the Tastings app to access your camera. Take a close-up photo of the product on the shelf, including the full bottle and the price tag. Then step back and take a photo capturing the full shelf from the bottom row to the top. If you see multiple sizes of the product on the shelf, select the Add Another Size option and gather the same information for each size. Tap Save. If there are competitors listed, tap on each brand and complete the survey. Take a close-up photo of the product on the shelf, including the full bottle and the price tag, then step back and take a photo of the entire shelf. If you can't find a competitor, tap the text that says, don't see this product on the shelf. Ask the store manager if they carry the product, then indicate if they do not or if it is out of stock. Tap Finish Survey. Next, set up your workstation and begin the workstation survey. Indicate your in-store location and which promotional materials you are using, then take two photos of your station, capturing the full station, including the bottles and promotional materials. Tap Done. If you are not done but need to begin the event, you can return to this task at any time before uploading. When you're ready to begin, tap Sample Tracker. For every customer that walks in the store, complete a form noting their gender and age range. Do not ask, rather guess to the best of your ability, and if a customer appears 35 or younger, ask for identification before serving any alcoholic beverage. For each customer, indicate if they sampled, did not sample, or if you did not engage with the customer. For customers who sampled, indicate whether they liked the product, disliked it, or were neutral. If you are sampling multiple products, enter feedback for the product that was sampled. If a customer samples more than one, enter feedback for each product sampled. If the customer purchased the product, indicate how many, then tap Done. The form will reset so you can complete it for the next customer. For customers who did not sample, select a reason. Either they did not want to drink, did not like the product category, or other. Tap Did Not Engage for customers you did not speak to. Complete the form after each customer has moved on from your station. If you engage with a group, complete one form per customer. On the top of your screen, we'll see the number of completed forms and the number of bottles sold. Once the activation is finished, exit the sample tracker. On the top of your screen, you'll get a summary of your sampling activation. You'll see the number of people engaged, the number of bottles sold, and conversion rate. Once you have completed the activation, click Done. For the store manager sign-off survey, the store manager must verify their contact details and the number of items sold, rate the activation, and sign their name. Next. Complete your feedback survey by answering each question and adding in notes for your manager. P as detailed as possible as all notes and information helps improve future brand activations. Tap Done. If you had any expenses during your sampling activation, you can add them here. Log the total expense amount, 
photos of each receipt and any relevant notes, and remember to keep your receipts. You can sync the report at that moment or later as the data will save in the app until you do so. If you're ready to upload, tap Finish and Upload, then tap Continue. You will be able to watch the upload progress and pause at any time. If there are any errors uploading the report, you will see an error and be provided instructions on how to correct the issue, retry, and resume. Once all items have uploaded successfully, you finish the activation and are ready for the next one on your schedule. You can also click on the activation to view a detailed report about the event performance. Completed activations will remain on your list for 24 hours. You can view past activations by using the filters. For more information, visit www.overproof.com tastings dash it started.